my Salonian compatriots. I extend my warmest and sincerest salutations to all of you, no matter where you are. Today is the 8th January 2024. Another podcast, another edition, another analysis, another 50 minutes of aroma of touch. This is the Kabusin Factor. In this edition, I brought under the spotlight a number of assorted items, miscellaneous stuff, a variety of ingredients, all in an impressive package just for listening pleasure. It's going to be fascinating. It's going to be captivating. But first, a proverb for today. A proverb for today has come from a country far away from our region, a country far from the Mano River Basin, a country that was formerly called Abyssinia. This country is found in the Horn of Africa, and this country is known as Ethiopia. Ethiopia has his old name, the former name is, is uh, Abyssinia. But over the centuries, it was changed to Ethiopia. This country is found in the Horn of Africa. What is Horn of Africa? Horn of Africa is uh, simply when you, when you look at the map of Africa, any part of that map of Africa that on the top right hand side, where you see like the horn of a cow, or the horn of a bull or of a goat. That particular part there is called the Horn of Africa. Four countries make up the Horn of Africa. One is Ethiopia, two is Eritrea, sorry, uh, Eritrea, the third one is uh, Somalia, and the last one is Djibouti. All these are countries that are found in Horn of Africa. So that's it there. Now let's get some facts about Ethiopia. As I said earlier on, Ethiopia is found in the Horn of, Horn of Africa. The old name is Abyssinia. Then uh, we have the capital city of Ethiopia is Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa is where you find, I'm sure that the, head, the headquarters of AU. Yes, they are there, headquarters of AU. Now, Ethiopia is the only country in Africa that was never colonized by any European power. At the time, they were having Emperor Ali Selassie as, as emperor. At that time, Ethiopia was an empire ruled by Emperor Ali Selassie. All the Rastafarians, uh, Joseph Hills, Bob Mali, uh, Winston Rodney. Please, Winston Rodney is a bonus spear. The group is called Burning Spear, but he is the head of the group. And his, his, his real name is Winston Rodney. He's a, he's a current uh, king of reggae, Burning Spear. Just like culture. Culture is the name of the group, but Joseph Hills is the head of the culture the group there. They will also have some groups, even Bob Marley and the Whalers. You see, Bob Marley is the head of the Whalers. So the group is there, but we have the head of the group there. The entire group of culture was he was headed by, by Joseph Hills, but he, but he died in 2006, I'm sure, yes. So, uh, so, so uh, Ethiopia was never colonized, as I was saying, but later on, Italy, at the time they were having Benito Mussolini there uh, from Italy. He came and occupied Ethiopia for, for up to 10 years. But they didn't give him any chance to settle because some northern kingdoms, some countries in North Africa that they help Ethiopia. They said, no, this one will, will help to back you up. Will back you up. Not for any European power to settle there. But Italy made an attempt. It, it, it was Italy that that uh, colonized Libya. Just after Libya, they came to Ethiopia. Benito Mussolini. 
but he never succeeded at all. You see, so with the help of those northern kingdoms, they never gave Ethiopia, so Italy to settle there in Ethiopia. So, so Italy remained uh, an empire until the death of uh, Emperor Haile Selassie. That's only country where you where no European power has an influence. The second one to it is uh, Liberia. Liberia was not colonized. Yes, he never colonized Liberia. I can hear you all over. Hey. Nope. You ask any, any Liberian, he will tell you that they were not colonized. Liberia was founded by an NGO from USA called the ACS, the American Colonization Society. They came there to, to find a space for the for the for this for the free slaves to come back to their homeland of Africa. The ACS is not USA, American Colonization Society. They came there only to do that, to find a space to, for the resettlement of of the American Liberians, who are getting many in the states there. They were languishing, but USA never colonized any country in the world. Liberia and USA they are just friends because of the ACS. The ACS is just an NGO that left USA to come around to find a space for the resettlement of the free slaves. That's it there. But the Liberia too was not colonized at all. So that's it there. Uh, okay, now, so the, the language that is spoken in Ethiopia is neither English nor French. It is neither Spanish nor Portuguese. It, it, the language is called Aramic. A R A M I C. Okay, that's it. We are the borders. Who are the neighbors of Ethiopia? One is Eritrea, two Djibouti, three Somalia, four Sudan, five South Sudan, and six Kenya. These six countries are, are countries that share border with uh, Ethiopia. Now we are the major exports of uh, Ethiopia. We are the, the export coffee, fruits, grains, oil seeds, vegetables, meat. You also export leather. To, now who are the biggest export partners? One is UK, USA, India, China, and Spain. Those are some of the facts about Ethiopia. And let's go to the pro, 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 to the proper proper from Ethiopia. Now. The proverb reads, a bad son gives his mother a bad name. I repeat, a bad son gives his mother a bad name. This is the first time I'm getting a proverb from, from uh, Ethiopia. A bad son gives his mother a bad name. Okay, that's it there, the short proverb. That that proverb there is very clear, English language. In Creole, it's the same thing there. So let's come to the interpretation there. Now, any wicked or savage person we love his, his posterity. When you say posterity, means that your children that are yet unborn, the children that you never gave birth to yet, or the children that you have given birth to, that are coming after you, that is your prosperity. Or your your posterity. We will say pros, uh, posterity will judge you. That means our children that are coming tomorrow, 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 to become leaders, they will judge you. So any savage person will have his, his posterity judged by that person's past immoral deeds, past bad deeds. If you are wicked now, if you are wicked now, don't look at it clearly. If you are wicked now, tomorrow, 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 who will use your posterity to judge you that your father was here as a president, he was wicked to us. He will send his dogs and hooligans to go to and kill people from one region. Or tell them, yes, when the protest is at East, they don't do anything bad there. When the soldier the protest in, in Northwest, he sent his dogs to kill them. Or tell, or tell the children. Example now for Bio, for the examples. Example, see, Bio is wicked. Bio is savage. Bio is cruel, he is nefarious, and that bad name has to spread to every member of his family, whether he is dead or alive, whether he may be dead or alive tomorrow, that bad name has to be spread 
we we'll spread it like we will spread uh, 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 we can spread the butter in bread we call it bread spread they say it in any any child that bears the name Bill tomorrow that child is, is a prosperity of Bill yes. who use Bill to judge those children who also is the children to judge Bill that is it there you see so if you are good today as a father your children tomorrow 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 anywhere they go tomorrow say oh that uh, yeah this uh, this uh, children's father was a good man oh this children's mother was a good man that good name will spread all over to your posterity but as long as you are bad today as a leader, the bad name will spread to your posterity, to your children, children, children's children. So for the last time, the proverb from Ethiopia, a bad son gives his mother a bad name. That's a proverb there, and that's the interpretation there. My computer writes. See? I hope that suffices. And I guess that's fully comprehensible. Now to business. True, true business. Oh. True, true business. Now, uh, my first item to be is going this first item today is going to the, the first item today is known as uh, is is is, uh, is centered on umro for finance activities since since bill came to power 2018 the activities of umro for finance was us we all know that uh, uh information if information dissemination is power we all know that information dissemination that means the spread of information is power people people have radios people have cell phones to get news that is happening across the world news that is happening around them we need factual information to be spread to us outside there there are some newsworthy issues there are some talk worthy issues that we have failed to bring forward to the world I told, I told my computer, I told you last time, don't, you know, if you, if you are a critical listener, be a critical thinker. This man has been playing on the lives of the people of Sierra Leone there. Since this wicked regime came to power there. The man has sold his reputation and dignity. That that noble profession of the journalism, the man has sold it out for, for pittance. People want the radio, people want the newspaper, but nowadays this people can't even sell in Sierra Leone there because all of them are just just in the pocket of hopeless view there. So people don't buy them, they go to WhatsApp and get that information. You see anything? You read with skills. You have to get reading skills, you have to get listening skills, you have to get writing skills. And when you listen, be a critical listener. It can help you to become a critical thinker. <sighs> this is bad for a nation. Today I'm going to highlight some key issues since Bio came to power. Some key issues, not all in fact. Some key issues that we're supposed to have had on the world radio or BBC. If you can be there to take side with such a regime that is there to kill the people of Sierra Leone, that is there to punish people of, of Sierra Leone, crimes that never happen, uh, crimes, crimes that never happen, crimes that are fabricated. They just wake up one morning, they say, oh, they start arresting people. And that they never did in the South East at all. They can do that in Northwest. They start torturing them and send them to jail for nothing. So they lose their lives, there are a lot of them 